72-year-old Petro stands near the ruins of the house that belonged to his neighbor. He was killed during the shelling. The Russian military opened fire from Uragan multiple rocket launchers from the territory of the temporarily occupied Kherson region. All the shells hit one street in the small frontline city of Apostolova Krivi district. I saw him when they had already pulled him out. It was at 3 or 2 o'clock. He was crushed during the first hit. At that moment, he was lying on the sofa, so he was crushed by the ceiling. Several volleys were fired from the Uragan multiple launch rocket system. After the first shelling, a fire broke out in one of the houses and the neighbors rushed to help. At that moment, three men who ran up there were hit by shrapnel, Petro says. But he's not going to evacuate, he says. After what he had experienced, he decided not to leave. My mother taught me this way. She said, son, hunger is scary. But war is not, it kills immediately, and so there is nothing to be afraid of. For the first time since the beginning of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Apostolova has experienced such a powerful shelling. There were 12 volleys in total. Four people were killed, one was wounded, 26 houses were damaged or destroyed. On Pionerska Street, where the most severe damage occurred, people are trying to repair their houses on their own. Almost all of them had windows blown out, damaged roofs and doors. People lived here. The shelling began somewhere around 1 in the morning. You see what they have done. It is very sad that this happened to our city. No one expected this. It is very sad. The roof was damaged. All the windows were damaged. Fragments in the house. They even flew into the wall. You see the fence. Thank God that everyone survived. We gathered with friends and help by common efforts. How else? Local authorities have only begun to assess the damage caused by the Uragan multiple launch rocket systems. The city council has already received more than 70 appeals from the residents of Apostolova about the consequences of the shelling. Now we have a commission working on this issue. They visited that street and carried out their own examinations. The victims of the shelling have already received the first batch of building materials. The mayor has also offered help to everyone who wants to leave Apostolova. Free transport is provided by the military administration. First 24 evacuees have already arrived in Krivi Reported by Marina Stepanenko, Natalia Bilokudria, UATV News.